Hey guys! Before we get into this week's build series video, we wanted to acknowledge a milestone that we hit this week. We, we hit, hit a thousand subscribers! <laughs> we couldn't be more happy that all of you guys are giving us as much support as you are, commenting on our videos, reaching out with questions that you have, and uh, just enjoying seeing the dogs in all the videos. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for all the support you are giving us. And uh, we look forward to bringing more content for you guys, especially the van build, all of our vlogs that we're going to have coming up, and of course, more dogs. <laughs> Thank you so much for all your support and encouragement. We couldn't have done it without you. Yeah. Enjoy this build video. Hey guys, so I'm going to be working on the bed frame today. Uh, we're using 2x4s to span that 74 inch gap. Um, so I'm going to do some measurements, figure out to cut to size uh, what size we're going to need. And uh, in this under, the, these boards down here are going to be what's under the, uh, or I guess on top of the 2x4s, under the mattress for the, the bed platform. So there we are start of the bed frame so our plan is to just screw these into the uh, piece that's on the wall I'm going to try to make some braces for in between um, I just got to figure out what the exact distance is uh, between all of them and then over the top we're going to do a sheet of that birch ply uh, that we purchased so that'll leave a nice steady bed frame and uh, in the garage space underneath for bikes. Uh, that's, you know, we made it 38 inches high so that we can fit our mountain bikes uh, no problem on, on a drawer slide. So that's something that we'll be making in the future here. So it is time to work on the bed platform. So this piece I'm going to hole saw holes into it so that the mattress can breathe from the bottom. Uh, one of the problems in RVs with all the condensation is it'll get wet underneath the mattress and then there can be mold and mildew. So we're gonna work out a grid pattern and then start sawing away. We're getting there. The battery died, which it was struggling. As you can see, these last holes, they couldn't make it through any of them. Um, and definitely when you're in it for too long, it starts to burn. <laughs> One of the next projects, I think we're going to notch out the boards to kind of give a, about a three quarters of an inch um, headroom so they'll kind of hang down a little bit. I think that'll be, you know, important for my headroom at least. Uh, currently, with where the bed is going to be, without even having a mattress on it, I'm touching the ceiling. So, um, you know, if three quarters of an inch is a little bit less of this, then I'm down. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done, pro tip, go halfway through the board uh, and then hopefully the head of the um, drill bit is coming out and then you can just go ahead and go the other way. So this is one that I did from both sides and there isn't a single tear on that, whereas all these other ones are splintered like crazy. I, I would definitely suggest going halfway from one side, halfway from the other, and you'll have a nice clean hole. Good morning, guys. Got the bed pieces. Uh, one of the things that we're gonna have to do is notch out a little piece in the corner. Um, so I was just in here measuring, there's this metal piece, uh, so that board fits in past that metal. Um, and so we gotta just notch out just a little bit of a square. It's just 3 eighths of an inch to go around that, but then an inch and a half in. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and measure that out and uh, cut it off of this one and then off the, the head piece as well. I'm getting the paint all set up. Um, I decided while it's drying, I'm going to notch out our bed frame. Uh, so these are the two by fours that will run 
across the van. We have five of them to try to distribute the weight uh, and then that half inch plywood. Um, so from what I'm gonna do, two by fours are an inch and a half. And they're not, you know, two inches. So I set the saw blade uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, so it'll come up three quarters of an inch. And then I set the guide to cut uh, inch and a half in. Um, so we'll have basically a notch three quarters of an inch up and an inch and a half over. Uh, so that first cut will just be a cut and then I'll change the guide an eighth of an inch and keep just going further and further out. And then that way, um, once we get to the end, it'll basically be pretty flush. There'll be, you know, just little pieces that I, I'll be able to sand off. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the boards. And once those are painted, go ahead and start notching those out and then just keep going back and forth until we feel good. Let's do it. So those turned out pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead, go pop them up in the van and then we'll uh, double check that they're all good. Bed frame all put in uh, where they're notched out. So that saves us that quarter inch. It definitely is not gonna save me much height, but uh, it's still, you know, <laughs> it's something. So from the start of this video, it's been a great deal of time, as you can probably tell. Um, the bed pieces are all painted now. Everything is good to go. Uh, one of the things, as you saw during the video, is these boards were um, notched out. I've decided that I'm not going to use the notch. So without the notch, I have about an inch. But if we were to flip this board over, no go. So the first thing I'm going to tackle is I have these supports for the middle. I'm going to do two, one, two, one. Um, and hopefully that will give added support for the bed. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pocket jig them. So I'm doing the one and three eighths thickness and drill bit guide size. And then I'm going to use both two inch and one and a half inch screws uh, because I, I don't have quite enough two inch screws. But uh, the one and a half inch comes out a decent amount. And really this is just kind of, just to give an, a little bit more rigidity to the boards, but they will be uh, screwed into the end board as well. Those pocket holes are all done. I kind of put them on the edge to kind of use them as spacers. My plan though is to take these boards back out, do two pilot holes in every side spot and then that is what's going to go directly down into the bed frame. So these are all nice and solid. I then will follow, so I'll do the ends first uh, because they're exact, they have to be at that spot. And then I will take two of the, you know, I'll make sure that they look pretty similar in size, uh, you know, just in case there was uh, a miscut or something, I tried to make sure to have it as a jig where I just cut them identical, but then I will probably put those in, clamp them down, and then put two of them at the start, one at the next one, two of them, and then one at the very end. So, as you can see, all of the slats have two screws in the side rail and then two pocket screws on each side of these things just making it a little bit sturdier and it is shaking the whole van so it is definitely sturdy now we gotta just I put on the foot piece here we gotta just grab the full-on five foot board and fit it in and then we'll screw that down as well in a handful of the beams um, and then we can throw a mattress on we'll be done After many months of moving large boards in and out of the van every single day that we need to work on it, we are finally 
done with this beautiful bed platform. Ooh. Ooh -ooh. Super exciting. Yeah, it is. I can't sleep on it. <laughs> um, and so that's the end of this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, I suppose, and uh, hit the notification bell. Bing. Yeah. We'll have lots more videos coming your way, so. And maybe I'll be in some of them. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Pew. Bye. We tried to film a time lapse of beautifully unrolling the mattress, and A, the camera didn't work, and B, it was not beautiful. It was ripping plastic and annoying. But look at it. It's so beautiful. We have this beautiful six inch memory foam. It's gonna expand overnight and then we'll put some sheets on it. And sleep in it. Ugh.